A new season in AFK Journey is coming up in a few days and there is quite a lot of exciting new things coming with this season. Some that you might have missed, like this wolf that seems to be a new Dream Realm boss. Or this town that might be the new main city because of the blacksmith that is over there. Now I went through all the videos and information available about Son of Strife, so stick around and make sure you don't miss some of these interesting new things coming to AFK Journey. I will also be leaving some new codes for the game in the description down below so make sure to claim them if you haven't already. So the first thing you need to know about the new season is that we will have a completely new map to explore with a seasonal level and it seems like the essence and XP books you will get will also be seasonal, meaning that you can only use them to increase your seasonal levels. There will also be seasonal equipment. And I like this system as it keeps the game interesting. Now rest assured all your progression are considered permanent outside of this season. So your artifacts, resonance level, class equipment, hero tiers, hero exclusive equipment and other systems will all remain effective across all future seasons. And these systems are the foundation of your power. You will also unlock a seasonal new skill for each hero which is amazing and this will be unlocked once you have reached level 51. Sadly they didn't show any of these new skills but I am quite excited as to what some of the heroes will be able to do and if the meta will change a lot or if we will see any unused heroes being used now. But speaking of heroes, there will also be two new heroes coming to the game and one seems to be S rank while the other one is A rank. They are both maulers and I will go into the basics in this video about them but make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel if you want to stay up to date with more in-depth guides or reviews about new heroes as I do plan on summoning on them and giving my insight. The S rank hero is a mage called Alsa and it seems like she will be able to summon walls which range, can't attack through and also have a lot of CC effects like stun to help out your team. The A rank is called Soren and he has a very unique ability with a knockback. When he knocks the enemy against the wall or the edge of the map, they will also get stunned and it seems like they want Alsa and Soren to have some good synergy which is nice since Alsa's walls will be counting with this mechanic. Also, Soren is apparently a rogue which surprised me quite a bit because he looks more like a warrior at first sight. But I can't wait to summon on these heroes and see how strong they are. Next we have probably the most exciting new thing about Son of Strife. The new content coming with it. There will be two new main content coming with the season and the first one is called Dura's Trials. Dura's Trials is quite similar to the Tower Legend Trial where specific areas will open on specific days. The biggest difference between the two is that Dura's Trials will not be faction based but instead class based, like Mage, Rogue, Warrior and so on. As for the rewards in Dura's Trials you will get magic charms which will be seasonal, meaning it will only work in this season. So what do they do? They seem to increase your stats and in this video it is not only basic stats like HP or attack, but also more crit chance which is awesome. Once you have completed a whole new set it will give a new set effect and this seems to be really strong and important to progress in Son of Strife. The other main content coming with Season of Strife is Supreme Arena. Now this will be a new PvP mode and I always enjoy PvP in games so I am quite excited. So what makes Supreme Arena different from normal arena? The biggest difference is that it will be cross server and not only for your server and it seems like you will have 3 defense teams at a time with 3 different maps. But you won't be able to choose the 3 maps and it will change to different maps regularly and I'm not sure if this will cycle weekly or how it will work. So when you attack someone you will have to place 3 different teams to attack the opponent's 3 different defense teams. And it will be the best of three to decide whoever wins. It also seems like you will be able to hide some of your defense team 1's heroes, so this will be quite interesting to see how it plays out. Another thing worth pointing out is if you lose in Supreme Arena, you won't lose any rating apparently. 
after it won't be as penalizing as normal arena where you can lose like 40 to 50 rating if you lose an attack or a defense against somebody. Also notice how the reward seems to be daily diamonds, which I'm so glad to see since it is quite hard to get diamonds for more summons right now. There seems to be a butterfly icon next to the defense teams in Supreme Arena, and I am going to assume that they are most likely artifacts. Speaking of artifacts, they didn't give us a lot of information about the new ones that is coming to the new season, and all we got is a picture showing a tiger and another one with a spiral looking icon. If you count the amount of artifacts in this picture, it adds up to 8. And they did mention before we are getting 8 new artifacts, so it seems to be confirmed. There will also be new minigames where monsters can now attack you in the open world and a new game mode in the open world called Raging Duel. This Raging Duel seems quite similar to Solo Crucibles where you have to do something specific for a buff, but in Raging Duel you will have a rage bar on the top of the screen and whoever fills the bar first will get the buff it seems like. And like I mentioned at the start of this video, they seem to have sneakily added a Dream Realm boss into the video without saying anything about it. Now I could be wrong since they didn't say anything, but the map looks 100% like any Dream Realm map, and it seems to be one of the world bosses, so I wonder if the mechanics will be the same, or a bit different. Just remember you need to be level 240 to unlock the new season, so make sure to check out this video to prepare you for the upcoming season.